Hi everyone, this is a uh, video solution for stats first term week 2 syllabus. So, yeah, our first question here is choose the correct statement of the following. Uh, uh, first option here, before uh, starting with the options here, I would like to make a rough estimation what is going on so yeah let's uh, let's make it here so this is observation will be this is frequency this is a relative frequency so observation is a b c uh, frequency let's suppose it's three four three and three so to find the relative frequency what we should do here is uh, first of all calculate the total frequency so total frequency tf is 10 here right so wait a minute yeah so tf is 10 4 plus 3 plus 3 10 so relative frequency would be 4 by 10 which is 0 0.4 it would be 0 0.3 for b and 0 0.3 for c so basically it says that the ratio of the total frequency to the total number of observation is equal to 1 so total frequency is 10 4 plus 3 plus 3 divided by total number of observations so total number of observations is uh, 4 for this 3 for this and 3 for this which would be 10 again and 10 by 10 would be basically uh, 1 so this is correct uh, now sum of all the relative frequencies should be equal to 1 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 would be again uh, right uh, one so basically if you want the data for this so it would be let us suppose a a a a it's basically an unstructured data right so if you uh, believe that uh, yeah so these are the total number of observations frequent their respective frequencies and their relative frequencies right so the ratio of the frequency of a particular observation of a particular observation let us suppose a to the total number of observation is the relative frequency perfect what we did earlier was divide 4 with 10 which is uh, frequency of a particular observation divided by the total observation to get 0 0.4 which is as you can see so this option is also correct this is correct option uh, wait a minute right so the multiplication of the total number of observation and the relative frequencies of a particular observation should be equal to the frequency of that observation so it basically tells me that if we multiply uh, total number of observations which is 10 to the relative frequency which is 0 0.4 we get a frequency of a particular observation so we can see it 10 into 0 0.4 is 4 correct 10 into 0 0.3 is 3 again correct and so is for c so this option is also correct so all the options are right uh, now a pie chart is used to yeah it is used to show the proportion of the categorical variable i already uh, explained this guy uh, this thing in uh, video lectures so it is true divide a circle into pieces with a proportion to the relative frequencies of a qualitative data perfect it does that it is basically telling us that uh, the proportions or the width of the proportion is basically related to the relative frequency so if i had to make a pie chart for 
that table here for this table so what I would do here is first of all yeah so let me use another color here let me just use green only so this width and this is basically the same and this is for 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.3 it's not exact but yeah so we can see that it's what we can observe is that this is 30 percent of the whole circle this is 30 percent and this is 40 percent whole summing up to 100 percent right so 30 percent plus 30 percent plus 40 percent is 100 percent and yeah the proportion uh, of the relative frequencies is proportional to the size of the proportions here am i right so the option here is correct uh, none of the above is wrong so here only three first three options are correct now which of the following can be defined for both nominal and ordinal data uh, first of all we cannot calculate the mean here because it's not a numerical quantity not a numerical variable you can say second is median so median can only be calculated when data is in order so nominal is not an ordered data uh, like i would say a person has blood groups so a b c uh, c is not a blood group sorry yeah so a b a plus b plus b negative a negative a b positive these are different blood groups so i wouldn't say that uh, the median here is a because uh, it, like it's already arranged in order i wouldn't say that a negative is less than a, a positive it's just a type a uh, way of expressing the blood groups so it is wrong to say this right so if we cannot order of certain data we cannot find its median right so this is wrong again uh, yeah if we need to find the median for ordinal data it would have been possible there but not for nominal third is mode yes we can find the mode for both of them uh, basically suppose there are 100 patients we found that uh, patients had 40 patients had b positive 20 patient had a positive and a b negative patients were 12 so basically what we can say and so on which decreases right so the longest bar here right for b positive of course the longest bar would be for b positive as I already told you guys that the numbers decrease for any whatever the blood group is so yeah we can find the mode here right basically mode is telling us the frequency highest frequency uh, variable is the mode of the data so it doesn't depend on the order sorry it is right I need to erase all of this stuff here right so next is if an analyst wants to represent uh, the venue of the various companies using graphs which of the following graphical representation is our most appropriate for this so now see if uh, a graph is to be made for revenue uh, a pie chart would be of no use here because uh, it isn't showing the difference or uh, how much more the revenue is from another it doesn't show the comparison so basically the statement here is the revenues of the various companies using graphs okay so the best representation would be where we can compare right so 
the pie chart uh, is an anonymous analogous to proportions and bar chart is analogous to comparisons so first of all uh, a pie chart would be of no use here because first of all we wouldn't know uh, what is the revenue because pie chart only shows the proportions so the revenue would be invisible to us second is that the proportions would be of no use here because uh, we wouldn't be able to find the data or nor we would be able to compare basically yeah it is about comparison so the bar chart is our only option so this is the correct option here and yeah we can also shift the axis here because it doesn't matter as long as we can get the bars which shows uh, the revenue the length of the bar shows the revenue we are satisfied with it uh, basically i want to explain you guys that whenever you are satisfied with proportions use pie chart and whenever you need to do comparisons use bar chart it's simple as that right so uh, next is mode of categorical variable is right in pareto chart if we are using an ascending order uh, the largest frequency would be at the last and yeah the last bar would be with the highest length so it would be the mode here the middle bar of course if the first is true second would be wrong uh, the longest bar in the bar chart right and the widest slice in the pie chart it is also true so if x y z are the observations uh, some of the frequencies corresponds to x y x and z are 30 and 40 so x is 30 y we don't know now and z is 40 so basically uh, y is also 30 because this all sum ups to 100 percent right they are total number of 50 uh, frequency sum of the frequency is 50 so to find the value of y what we would do is multiply the percentage with the total number of observation which is 30 percent of 50 would be 15 second is uh, what will be the cumulative frequency of x and z so to find the cumulative frequency we will add the percentages of x and z which would be 70 percent and 70 percent of 50 would be 35 so a now uh, last uh, eighth is the distribution of grades of the statistics containing 80 students is shown in the chart so we need to find is how many students secured B grade? B grade represents uh, this red portion, which is 32.5. So 32.5% of 80 students, uh, which would be 26. Now, which of the following statement is true? A relative frequency is the number of observations belonging to a category. It is wrong. It is the ratio of the number of frequencies belonging to a category divided by the total number of frequencies. The bar chart are better than pie chart when a categorical variable contain a large number of categories true because when we make a pie chart if the number of categories would be very large the slices would be like these minimum slices and we wouldn't be able to differentiate which slice represents which which would be prone to so much of errors so it is better to use bar charts in such case i hope you are getting my point here so and the area principle says the relative size of the bar should match the count corresponding category in relative to the total number of observations perfect so basically it tells us that uh, basically you can say that uh, suppose uh, length of or you can say area of the bar let me just write it like this frequency of a divided by area of a 
would be proportional uh, rather than that it would be more understanding like this yeah suppose there are for this frequency here for this part for this table here right and the area principle states it like this that the frequency of a divided by frequency of b would be area of the bar a divided by area of the bar b in the bar chart right or or a pie chart so area occupied by a divided by area occupied by b so let us see uh, frequency was 4 for a and 3 for b so area occupied by a and b would be in this manner suppose that length of uh, what do we say that yeah uh, suppose length of the this is the bar chart here right this is a this is b this is c we are using a one unit distance right so it says if this is one unit length so a must be 4 3 3 if it would have been 2 this uh, this width of the bar would have been 2 then the length would be 2 here it would be 1.5 it would be 1.5 so you can see that the proportion doesn't change it remains proportional to each other all the data all the frequencies remain proportional to each other so yes it is right it is basically difficult to explain but yeah intuitionally you can basically get the graphs or notion of the area principle here right so with, uh, sorry I need to erase the bar here to solve the next question but I erase something else right so we need to erase this part right so our next question here is wait a minute right so it says that the, the grocery shops have different items these items are here and a pie chart is also given so item 1 has 10 percent so let us use the same area principle here so if the item 1 has 10 percent and item 10 has 20 percent then the number of items would be twice so it would have twice of item 2 item 1 so it would be 300 one 115 to 2 is 300 and second is sorry third is y y is here item 3 which is 30 percent so 30 percent is thrice the item 1 which would be 3 into 150 which would be 450 so yeah so find the value of x x here we got 300 and for y we got 450 right it is 300 3 0 and 0 right thank you